The search to find life on Mars may involve using the nose. A European-led spacecraft called the Trace Gas Orbiter will look to sniff out any possible signs of life on the red planet as it breaks into Mars' atmosphere. Andrew Fizikas is an astronomy columnist for National Geographic, and he joins us now. So, Andrew, how will this spacecraft manage to look for life? Well, it all has to do with the gas of methane. Uh, there's been this great mystery surrounding the red planet for over 10 years now. The rovers that are on the ground on Mars and orbiters around Mars have been detecting trace uh, uh, signatures of the gas methane. And why this is so interesting to scientists is because here on Earth, 90% of all the methane that we have in the atmosphere of Earth is caused by, uh, uh, by organisms, living beings, are, is a byproduct of life, 90% of it here on Earth. So this is why this is a big mystery on Mars, because we're trying to find what causes them, what's driving this production of methane in different parts of Mars. So this orbiter has a special sensor on board that's basically able to sniff out in the atmosphere where this, these pockets of methane may be coming from. And so it doesn't mean that necessarily there is life on Mars that's producing the methane. There can be abiotic uh, production, possibly from geologic processes. But here on Earth, 90% is caused by methane. So this is something potentially very exciting. And it could pinpoint regions where we want to send future missions to look for life on the ground. So future rovers know exactly where to zero in of where this, these methanes are being produced. Wow, that's incredible, Andrew. Let me ask you this question. Astronomers are revealing more about the most distant supernova ever recorded. What can you tell us about that? That's right. So what we're talking here is about the detection of the most distant exploding star that we've ever seen. It's now, we're talking about something that's 10.5 billion light years away. That means that what we're seeing, this star exploding in a galaxy that occurred 10.5 billion years ago. And to put that into perspective, the lifetime of the universe, it's been over, it's pr pretty much 13.8 billion years ago when the Big Bang happened. Oh my so, goodness. So we're looking at the earlier part of the universe. We're looking back in time and, 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 and very far away at 10.5 billion light years. And so this is uh, telling us this exploding star by being able to see it and analyze the light from it, uh, exactly what the universe was like at that point, how stars form, and possibly even how planets form in the early part of the universe's life cycle. Incredible, incredible stuff. Thank you so much for this, Andrew. My pleasure. Clear skies. All right. Clear skies to you, too. Sorry.